in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be strong in the Lord and be of good courage. Your defender is he who is always the same. Mount up with wings as the eagle ascending. Victory is sure when you call on his name. Be strong, be strong, be strong in the Lord. And be For our good night message on the Sunday, the 5th of September 2021, Broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the first reading of today, entitled, Be Strong, Fear Not. Today we took our first reading from Isaiah chapter 35 verse 4 to 7. It starts with these words, Say to those who have an anxious heart, Be strong, fear not, behold your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. If you go one verse behind, starting from verse 3, you will read these words, strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. The hands that have stopped praying because they have not seen anything happening in their lives, because they have not seen COVID-19 coming to an end, those weak hands must be strengthened to continue being raised up in prayer. This passage is against the background of the exile experience in Babylon. In the midst of Israel's darkest time, when they had failed God again and again, and were about to experience the deserved and devastating consequences, he cast them this ray of hope. Their discipline would not be forever. The promised king would come and everything would would be made right. It helps me during my darkest times to know that I don't have to depend on my own strength. And I hope it will help you as well as you listen to this good night message. In the deadness of COVID-19 era, in the troubles we face connected to our relationships, to our health situations, his spirit whispers in our hearts, Be strong, fear not. He will strengthen your weak hands and make your feeble knees firm. You will get stronger in your prayer life because of what you face today. You are going to go back to those moments you felt the presence of God in your life because you had him at work. He is not finished with you yet. As dark as things may seem, his plan for you is unfailing and your heart can hope. You could be in a dark time right now. Don't lose hope. No matter what mistakes you have made in the past, God still loves you and has a plan for you. He is there with you. No matter what mistakes you have made in the past, God still loves you and has a plan for you. He is there for you. The Bible tells us again in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He is going to uphold you with his righteous right hand. He's going to take care of your situation. Even when you think things are very tough, God is going to show you. He can make you manage. 
Jeremiah 42 verse 11 tells us, Do not fear the king of Babylon, of whom you are afraid. Do not fear him, declares the Lord, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. This is again in the context of the exile experience. The people of Israel are in exile under the king of Babylon. And the Lord promises that he is going to deliver his people. And they were indeed delivered through the hand of the Lord. The Lord who used a pagan Cyrus, king of Persia, to free the people of Israel from bondage. This same Lord is going to use even pagans to free us from this COVID-19. Even those who do not know God are going to be used to save us from the virus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Be strong in the Lord and in